Never Stop Learning, week 322. We're gonna take a quick look at how to create a t-shirt mock-up using the Displace filter in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. All right, so the Displace filter has been around for a really long time, and I recently started playing around with it, just trying to get the hang of it. And I realized I can make better mock-ups using this filter. So let's check this out. Here, I've got this gray t-shirt, and I wanna apply some artwork. So I'm gonna jump over to Adobe Illustrator, and grab this logo. So this is a logo for Venice Dynamics. Shout out to those guys. I'm gonna copy this onto my clipboard and come over to Photoshop. All right, in here I'm gonna paste this and I wanna bring this in as a smart object. Whenever I can, I'm gonna work with a smart object all the way until I'm forced to have to rasterize it. All right, I'll click okay. Now I've got my artwork uh, over here above the T-shirt, uh, but I get a chance to transform it before I actually bring it all the way in. So what I'm going to do is grab one of these corners, click and drag. Now I'm resizing it. If I hold down the shift key, that's going to keep the aspect ratio. And if I hold down the option key, that's going to bring it in right towards the center. All right, that looks good. Click and drag, hold down the shift key to keep it nice and straight and release. All right, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard and there we go. So now we brought in this design and it's looking pretty good. Uh, the location's great, but it doesn't really look like it's part of the t-shirt, and that's where the displace filter comes in. All right, so with this layer activated, I'm going to go to the filter menu at the top, scroll through to find distort, and then choose displace. All right, once I click on that, I get this little panel here. Now, in here, it shows a horizontal scale of 10 and a vertical scale of 10, but it doesn't show me a preview of what's going to happen. All right, so let's click OK. Now, the reason it doesn't show us a preview is because we haven't chosen a map yet. So in here, we're getting the opportunity to apply a map. Unfortunately, I haven't built it yet, so let's build that next. I'm gonna hit cancel and let's back out of here. All right, so to create this map, all right, we're gonna use the gray t-shirt because we wanna use the luminance value of the t-shirt to make changes over here on our artwork. It's actually gonna start bending with the folds of the t-shirt. All right. So over here in the layers panel, down on the bottom right, I'm gonna target the t-shirt, right click on it. And I wanna choose this option here for duplicate layer. All right, in here, the change that I wanna make is the destination. The document, we're gonna switch over to a new document. And this one, we're gonna name it map shirt. All right, click okay. All right, so now we got this new document with our t-shirt. All right, so we need to make some changes. We need to end up with a grayscale image that's really high in contrast. Now, the good thing is I'm already working with a gray t-shirt, but let's say you were working with a different color t-shirt. You'd wanna go into the adjustments panel, choose black and white, and a lot of times I'll go with a high contrast preset because we wanna end up with a high contrast t-shirt anyway. All right, so we go. Now we have a more high contrasty version of this. And I'm gonna bring in some levels to uh, really help us out with that. So I'll click on levels. I'll bring this white point in towards the middle. I'll grab the black point, bring that in towards the middle. And then I can make changes over here with this gray point if I need to. Now, if you're not sure what's happening here, what's gonna end up happening is Photoshop is gonna read this as a map. Everywhere we have these white or light pixels, you're gonna see our artwork get pushed forward. Wherever there's darker pixels, you're gonna see that the artwork gets pushed back. All right, so we're gonna uh, use this as a map to distort our new artwork. All right, this looks pretty good, but we're ending up with a really crunchy version of this T-shirt. Now the problem with that is we could end up with some rigid edges for the logo. So let's soften this up by coming over here in the layers panel, targeting the T-shirt layer. I'm gonna go into the filter menu, scroll down to find blur, and then choose Gaussian Blur. All right, over here it shows a radius of two pixels. I'll click OK. Now, that worked for this document size. And what I wanted to do is just soften up the map a little bit. I wanna make sure that I don't end up with any rough edges. All right, so this map is looking pretty good. I'm gonna close this out and save it. All right, make sure you, you know where you're saving this. That way it'll be really easy to find later. I'll click Save, OK. There we go. So now we have our map ready to go and we have to apply it to this artwork. So over here in the layers panel, I'm gonna target the vector smart object. 
Then go into the filter menu at the top, scroll down to find distort, and then choose displace. All right, so we're just gonna run with the default settings to see what happens. I'll click OK, choose the map, then open. All right, now this is actually going overboard. This is too much here. It's actually distorting it so much that we can't even read the design. So that tells me that I have to back off on the settings. So back over here in the layers panel, I'm gonna double click on displace. And for the horizontal scale, I know that a value of two is gonna work out. And I'm gonna go with a vertical scale of two. All right, click OK. Choose the map again, then open. All right, there we go. So now it's starting to bend with the t-shirt and it's looking really clean. Let me show you the before. And here's the after. All right, so this is looking good, but I actually wanna make another change so that you can start seeing the t-shirt start kind of like going through. You wanna see the fibers inside of the artwork. So back over here in the layers panel, instead of just dropping the opacity, I'd rather make a change to the blend mode. So I'm gonna go with this area here. This is the contrast stack. So we have overlay, and this looks awesome. And you could also try soft light. All right, when I go with soft light, it looks like we're not laying down as much ink or it kind of looks like maybe the t-shirt has been worn before and washed multiple times. All right, so I'm actually gonna go with overlay. That works great in this case. Now, let's say you wanna change the color of the ink. There's a couple different ways to do it in Photoshop, but I'm just gonna double click on the vector smart object. It's gonna open it up in Illustrator. I'll select my artwork and choose a color from in here. Let's go with the dark blue. I'll close this guy out. Then it's gonna ask me to save. Then let's switch over to Photoshop. All right, and just like that, my artwork's already updated and it's looking like an awesome mock-up. So let me zoom in one more time just so you can get a good look at it. And there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at how to create a t-shirt mock-up using the displace filter in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017.